Here's the goal, a cottage garden in control, which in itself is kind of a misnomer because by their very nature, cottage gardens are, well, a little tousled. And this is what we have to work with. Quite a pronounced before and after, wouldn't you say? Weeds, lots of weeds. Not compared to my garden, but today I'm helping Danny Hills get his garden in balance. We're cutting and cleaning anything that's um, hung over. All of the big, blousey spring blooms, the roses, peonies, irises are done. And I'm basically picking up after the party. But today we'll work on Coreopsis. It gets leggy and floppy, cut stalks to about three inches, make it bloom again. Feverfew, cut it back short. It gets sloppy this time of year, but it's a great garden filler. And the purple flowers are Nepeta or Catnip. Cut it back, it will rebloom too. The foxglove is dwindling. Cut the stalks, but leave some to reseed the garden. Otherwise, no foxgloves next year. And those tall stalks with pom-poms is Flomus, or Jerusalem sage. You can cut the stalks or leave the foliage for filler. It makes great dried flower arrangements, too. This time of year, you've got to be ruthless to clean up and find those garden paths again. Part of spring cleanup is just accepting your bald spots. Next Tuesday, cutting back roses, dividing iris, and details, details, details.